Hello, I'm Jen. I run Mad Red Theatre School for the Madden Market Theatre in Norwich. And like everybody else, I find myself at home right now. So I thought I would share with you my top five tips for starting to work on an accent. Tip one, get your resources together. My favourite is IDEA, International Dialects of English Archive. You can find it online, it's really easy to use. Authentic speakers from around the world, different ages, mostly reading the same extract and then talking a bit about their lives. And then there's video. Video is great because it gives you a chance to watch all of those physical characteristics. So it could be mouth shape, it could be how much they use the lips or not. It could be tension within the jaw. Um, there can be other tensions around the face, like the corners of the mouth for Scottish, that really help trigger that accent. Tip two, look for a stress pattern or rhythm and work out if it's smooth or percussive. So, for example, some Welsh regions are quite percussive and punchy and some of the Irish is very smooth in comparison. Tip three, where is it placed? So, for example, uh, Brummie's quite near the front, just behind the lips, whereas Australian is quite far back, sort of in the back of the throat. Nasality can help with some of the American accents, and if you stress it and push it more and more and more and get more nasal as it goes along and you see how far you can take it, then it changes the accent and suddenly you find yourself in the world of uh, characterization or cartoon. Some of the London accents can be quite nasal. Then, of course, there's the terribly, terribly British. Tip four, vowels and consonants. Bet you thought I'd forgotten those. Um, so, very simply, glass can become glass. Uh, butter can become butter or butter. Uh, cook could become kook. And finally, find yourself a springboard sentence or a trigger sentence, something that will catapult you straight into that accent. Uh, so it could come from a line from the play, it could come from the tongue twisters and warm ups, or you might just have to put one together that involves the rhythms and the sounds that will really work for you. So, for example, uh, you only get a new with Taifu. And when you do your vocal warm up before a rehearsal or before a show, do it in the accent. Tongue twisters, lines, resonators, speed line runs, the lot. It will really help. So thank you for listening. I hope you found all this interesting. Um, if you want more detail or if you want more videos, just let me know. You can find me at the Madden Market Theatre in Norwich or um, just Jen Dewsbury on Facebook.